Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about Nika which is a long term gem and coming at very attractive levels. So let's understand about the business, let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation, people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about Nike, I have a small request that can you support me on Patreon and once you do that, help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions and eke out answers in greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you will have access to my portfolio, my watch list and number of podcasts that I put up from time to time. And also if you can pay $100 upfront, you get one year access by paying for 10 months. Now about the company, uh, it is a strong online women fashion brand Nike and probably everyone know about it with a lot of advertising campaign. It is a rare unicorn listing which has been profitable and has been doing fine on the bottom line. It has more of its own and uh, business presence across India and on, in an online space which is growing continuously. It has been gaining market share each quarter and have expanded base by opening offline stores. A lot of offline stores in malls and shopping complexes have been opened. And urban consumption to only pick up in years to come. I believe that once things normalize and people earn more, this type of consumption will only increase. The market cap of the company currently is 66,000 crores, which is set to grow a lot over the next 5 to 10 years. In terms of numbers, these are Q1 FY23 numbers. So these are June quarter numbers, which has been pretty impressive. Sales went up by 41% to 1150 crores. Uh, profit went up by 33% to 4.5 crores so the company remained profitable albeit very little but uh, there's good profits no debt ROE around 4.5% margins of around 4% is pretty decent uh, you need to consider that other online companies and you can say delivery companies food companies they are not doing that well on the bottom line. On the sales front, they are doing exceptionally well, growing at 40, 60, 70, some even 100%. Uh, but on the bottom line, they are producing, uh, you can say, spiraling uh, losses. And so profitable company is pretty good in this space. And that is why the uh, stock has not completely gone out of shape. It has gone down by 50%, but we'll discuss about the stock in this presentation later on. In terms of performance, so stock has not done much since its listing. So actually from 1800, 1900 levels, it went to 2500 and then has declined vertically towards 1250. So declined 50% from the top and strong brand and leadership in its space. But and, and it is a top management, uh, though margin is a negative and margins need to improve going forward, which, which it should if advertising expenses remain curtailed. So they have to cut down on operational costs in order uh, to increase uh, you can say uh, margins uh, but profitability need to increase from here three four percent margin is extremely less uh, so has most income in the festive season so i believe that the december quarter will be big so this is a very good time to accumulate the stock in the next one month and probably reap the benefits by december january so I believe it can be big over the next few years. So if you don't want to trade or just take a four or five months investment plan, uh, you can probably invest into this company at these levels. The, the stock is down a lot from the top. Demand is set to increase in online fashion space going forward. And if you have eight to 10 year perspective, these are very good levels to, uh, to get into. It is the only business of its type that is listed and will continue to command premium valuation in this industry. And they, it is commanding premium valuation. Uh, still online fashion penetration is low in India which I think in the second and third years it is will only grow and valuations are attractive after the fall. I think at 27% CAGR uh, can be 5600 by 2028 that's what I feel. I think it can definitely uh, go big time like double in three years and then probably 4x in six years that is that is the kind of mode the company has so i believe 27 percent cagr is a possibility in the stock from these levels of 1400 in terms of technicals have broken all support levels and now the major support level is around 1250 it went to 1360 just about one two day 
days back so probably your stop loss is 1250 you can buy around here on declines to 1300 once 1250 is gone then we are looking at 1100 up uh, that should come in pretty fast but the up move is expected above 1600 levels once above 1600 it should do extremely well so in my opinion if you have a five year view you can buy here and on declines as well it is a market leader and look for further up move to add so basically you add some 20 30 percent position here and once it takes out 1600 then just go big into the stock it is hard to trade such stock such stock do not move for for many weeks uh, but over a five to ten year period this should perform very well so this one video on uh, nika please like and subscribe and channel hit the bell icon so you get a video straight away when i post it kindly support me on patreon thanks a lot for watching